We're live from my house. It's Wednesday night. <laughs> yes, I just stole that from you. You did. Fucking thief. <laughs> uh, this is a collaborative process. Exactly. That means I steal the jokes and then give you credit for me stealing them. Exactly. Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening. Also, Abe. Take a look at Twitch and tell me something. Sure. Something. I I mean, yes, you can enter in the chat. But do you notice something? Oh, do I notice something? Do I notice something? I notice a button that says watch now. Rewards enabled on channels. Subscribe to earn rewards. Yeah, I noticed that that's been showing up Enter recently. I don't really know what rewards we do, but if you, again, if you're watching, hey, you yeah. can get rewards, which is Yo. awesome. But no, um, take a look at the follower count. Follower How do I even see the follower? Um, you know, I don't know. I have the I have God view, so I'm not sure how you can see it. <laughs> I have God. We've got 35 followers. Yeah, I Did just you noticed. To do something. At yeah. 35. Yeah, I just noticed it today. Um, we now officially have 35 followers. I said I would commission a technical difficulty screen. I am going to do that. It will exist by next week. Probably. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to hold myself to it. It will exist in the near future. Soon, TM. Um, but I am. I, <laughs> I am going to commission a technical difficulty screen. And the question is, is how am I going to slide wipe to it? Uh, that'll be an entertaining learning process that I'm going to do. Um, we have killed and eaten Jacob. Yes. And it has yeah. nothing to do with the fact that he is making pizza right now. Um, <laughs> I like my answer better. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've managed to hit one of the goals that I set. Thank you, everybody. Uh, the 35th follower was Not Mother. Um, who, Not Mother, I don't know if Not Mother will actually speak in this at any point in time, but Not Mother is the one, is the, she was the friend that ha was talking to me separately and I was communicating that way. Okay. Right, 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 right. That was when we were talking about religion, right? Class. Among other things, but yes. Um... So this week, last week on Dragon Ball Z, last week we attempted to kill the queen. Uh, we attempted some attempt regicide. An attempt was made. It uh, did not go the way we were hoping it would. Yeah. So what we need is we need a lot of food. We need to upgrade our gear. Um, so today it's going to be a lot of, of farming, prep work, and probably a bit of Freaking Lego talk. Let's go sleep. Oh, yeah. It is nighttime. And full wings can now spawn here. Yeah. Uh, the random branches in the middle of our freaking floor. I don't know why it does that. Neither do I. It is very bizarre. Um, I, I will be completely honest. I have been... I know I posted it somewhere on the Wit and Twit channel. Um, the Bog Witch is an incoming update patch it's a it, it's it's i guess it's a se decently sizable mini content patch it's not a full content like say the ashlands um it may behoove us to wait until the bog which is out because it will ride better ways and easier ways of us getting food and so i think i think that food prep may be worthwhile to wait for um okay. I did do some minor research on the queen. Um, uh, you're not going to like what I found. Okay, break it. She's a bitch. Uh, yeah, that, it, pretty much what I've heard is she is a tanky bitch with a lot of HP and there's not a really good strategy to deal with her. There's no easy way of doing it. Um, you kind of stumbled upon what seems to be the, I'd, I'd say the best method for dealing with her. 
setting her on fire constantly? Sort of. It's on your back. Oh, fla- falling? Yeah. Uh, it seems so as if... These, yeah, so so getting some more feather cloaks is, is probably a good thing for us to do. Um, they say that what you should try to do is get feather cloaks, uh, damage her from above, run, basically they say to run in, mist torch everything so you can see. So we may want to collect a whole bunch of wisps and then torch the place up and then run out and diagro her and then try again. Um, right. Oh, we need to make more jacko turns. We need to make a ton of jacko turns. Yes, that's the other thing this we're gonna do. Strategy. This is not gonna help us beat the queen, but we need them. We need them before, before it is too late. How many jacko turnips do we need per jacko turnip? That is a question. Wouldn't um her boss fight would be probably a good place to farm the carapace? Four turnips. Uh. Abe, the chest by the um, farm has 15 turnips in it. I'm standing right here. But yeah, I suppose we could use the... Oh, I'm going to have to do something about this. We could use this. the farm to farm... Or what am I saying? We could use the boss fight area to farm carapace. I suppose we could. Yeah, yeah it, it, that is one option. How much carapace do we have? We have a stack and a half of carapace as is. So... I need to upgrade my magical equipment. Uh, we need we need the soft tissue clothes. for sure. That's the problem because we need we need either. Yeah. Which we're not really going to get outside of soft tissue. Um yeah, is there nothing like we can't farm that shit unless it comes from the yarrow yarrow yarrow. Uh uh Yarl? No, it doesn't. Uh, we're going to have to find heads and dwarven outposts. Yeah. Uh, Yalls? I, I did look up the pronunciation of it, by the way, and it, it's pronounced Yall. Yall? Because Yall are... The, 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 that is one pronunciation of it, but if you think about it, it's also the first part of uh, Gal, uh, the Yall, uh, the Gallarhorn. Yallarhorn? Yeah. So, Gal, Yall, Yall... However you want to pronounce it from that. I kind of like y'all as opposed to y'all because then we're not Texan. Um, Yeehaw, y'all. Right. So we need food. We need refined eider. <clears throat> we need more turnips. More. We need feathers, too. For the feather cloaks. We all need to have feather cloaks. Apparently. Um, uh, I learned an interesting fact recently. Okay. This is completely random. And there's nothing, there's no way for me to really segue into this nifty information. Uh, squirrel, right? Uh-huh. You know squirrels. Everyone knows squirrels. It's hilarious Here. listening to uh, English and Irish people trying to pronounce the word, yes. Well. All right. Have you... Ever wondered how squirrels can just run down a tree head first? I I have seen it, yeah. I But have you ever wondered how they do it? How it is that squirrels are able to do that in the first place? Because think about it. Running down a cliff face upside down as a mammal. That, I, I that mean gotta be pretty weird. Right? Mechanically I would assume that due to their light weight and their claws, they're gripping into the bark and you'd, you'd think that you'd yeah think that would be the only thing but no they're they're ankles they can rotate 180 degrees <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> yeah apparently apparently their ankles can rotate <laughs> that's how they do it <laughs> it's like what what the fuck yeah that's uh like, that's kind of a what the fuck. With, uh, 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 what's that thing? Um, Michael Phelps had uh, uh, double the jointedness, joint the elastic it's joints. Kind of like double jointedness, except it's it's pivoting the entire ankle around. Uh, they can just flip it 
flip it around. They can run down, uh, run down tree. I mean, that kind of reminds me of the fact that ank uh, owls are actually giant leggy boys. Owls are fucking. They're freaky. Owls are freaky as fuck. Like, never ever look at an owl without feathers. It is just some kind of fucking alien, right? I, I mean, to be fair, that could be said of a lot of things. I have recently found out... God, now we're on to zoology. Uh, I have recently found out that naked mole rats essentially tried to evolve into ants and partially succeeded. Yeah, kind of. Like, they, they essentially live in a hive structure. They have a queen who does... The heavy lifting in terms of uh, breeding and genetics. They have specific, um, I believe it, I believe the term is called endomorphs, where certain members of the species will essentially change and adapt based on the needs of the colony and go off to breed with other colonies. So it, it helps with genetic diversity. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Yeah, like... Okay. Yeah. Cra crazy, crazy stuff. We God need, damn it, I misplanted one carrot. I don't know. We need, we need scale hide. We need sap. We need tissue. We need thread. And we need feathers. And we need <sighs> yggdras drill wood. And we need sirtling cores. Alright, so sirtling cores are not too hard to get. Um, we can get oh, them from the swamp. Yeah, we do. Uh, let's see. We don't have. And we have a bunch of black linen, marble. Linen is not too hard because we have a farm. Yeah, we still have a hundred linen thread down here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna bring that upstairs. Uh, yeah. Um, we have two scale hides in there as well. All right. Oh, and we've got. I'm gonna steal these sirloin cores and take them upstairs, as well. Uh. Well, technically, we should, um, at some point, we should upgrade a number of these chests to the black metal chests. Where's my belt? Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. I do have my belt. Alright. Cool. Alright. <laughs> where's, where's my Maringyard belt? Oh, there it is. I gotta put the fuller meat away. Okay. So, what exactly does the blocking stat do? It increases your block strength. So, as you get more block skill, you're able to block more damage. It adds into the shield value of block. It's the same. It's the same thing with um, as you increase your swords category, you do more sword damage. So on and so forth. So me standing here in a group of necks, just blocking them, helps me. Is what yeah. Talking. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we are okay. We are in a limited food uh, eating method now. Uh, yeah, I'm not eating any food. Well, um, I'd highly recommend eating at least one food. We have salad for days. I, I it I'm is safe salad. to eat a salad. I am I'm going to off the salad. Yeah, I am going to try to cook some limited vitality food as well. Uh, but I don't I don't really know what we got that I can do with that. Uh Why why am I not Hold on, can I not run if I have a shield? Blue, we have blueberry, blueberries and carrots. Do we have blueberries and carrots? We have some carrots, but not a lot. Okay. Damn it. Alright, um, I'm going to check on the, the, the farm where we're growing all of the magic food. That's where we've set up the um, sap. Right? Yeah, do you need do you need a uh, cultivator so you can replant some of that? I'm not going to harvest any of the plants or any of the I'm just going to check on the sap. All right. Uh we're going to have to start doing wood Which piles. Is, is it 
this one? It's the Jotun Puff, which is up the thing and straight across. Up the thing and straight across. Yeah, I, I need to rebuild the portal room. Ugh. I, we have so many things on... The, I'm going to have to get a whiteboard with a list of shit we have to do at some point. Um, speaking of list of shits to do, since it is October and I did say we should do some spooky streams, uh, would either of you be available Saturday for a Lethal Company stream? Ooh, um... We, we actually uh, do have plans on Saturday. Oh, shit! Fucking tick! I'm coming. Sorry. I got it. Um, I'm not coming. Oh, no! It's a big boy! I'm coming. I'm, I'm out of here. I got what I needed. <laughs> I'm not coming. <laughs> it's a big boy. No. I only, I've only had salad. I've had no protein. <laughs> uh, I mean, it would, it would you on the vegetarian diet. <laughs> it would be nice if we could um do that. I know you're not available Friday. We could sneak it in. Oh, this is already full of sap. We just need. We just need a medic bag. Um, I think we do have some soft tissue in the dump chest, actually. The dunk a dunk chest. I need wood. I need wood. I will well, check the, uh, just break my ankle and nearly died. But, um, we have be, to expand the lock good, pens. I'd be good for doing a uh, spooky stream on Monday. Monday? Which Monday would be the 28th. Very spooky. Very spooky day. Um, When the hell is Halloween? Monday's the 28th, Thursday. right? Next Thursday. Uh, we could also do a spooky stream Thursday, if you guys are free. This Thursday? No, the 31st. Thursday next week. Mm -hmm. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll uh, update everybody when we know what the fuck's going on. I have put a chest by the, um, the fucking refinery, so I can put all of the sap and tissue into there when we're not refining. And I'll huh. check on the dump chest, as I like to call it, the badunka dunk chest. Uh, we do have soft tissue. We yeah, have... I saw some soft tissue in there. This is why I mentioned it. Yeah. So, soft tissue, apart from the obvious, what else is... Uh, as far as I can tell, that was it. Oh, that did not... Oh, hi. Is there, like, a button I put? Oh, yo, it's a... You have to that you have to climb the stairs and put it in into yeah, the you grinder. Have to look at just the right angle. All right, we're we're refining. All right, I'm uh, I'm farming some sirtling cores. You know, <laughs> this is funny as heck. Before we started the stream, just before we started streaming this evening, uh, Connor, you posted, "Behold a square." <laughs> Discord's meme chat. I did. Because prior to that... Sparked, it has sparked debate. Or conversation, at least. Uh, in Euclid, to quote Garlactic, uh, in Euclidean geometry, a square is a regular quadrato, quad lateral, which means that it has four straight sides of equal length and four right angles. 90 degree angles to uh, pi divided by two radian angles or right angle, which means behold a square is accurate. This well, I think. behold a square is not quite because there are 
there are only two straight sides. What is straight, really? I, I mean, technically, yes. If we go into non-Euclidean geometry, which, by the way, um, to, to, to go even further into this, um, oh, my God. <clears throat> and this is something I've, I've learned fairly recently. Non-Euclidean geometry is a lot of fucking geometry. Like, Euclidean geometry is not a lot of geometry. Um, I'd ha I have to go and look this up again to see exactly what it is, but most of the geom uh, geometric shit that we deal with is non-Euclidean, which makes me really mad because we talk about non-Euclidean geometry for spaces that are bizarre or whatever, because mm -hmm. it sounds fancy, but it's really not. I mean... I really wish Garlactic was in the chat to throw shit up. Because uh, he, he is a good friend of mine. And it would be hilarious to hear his debate on this. And, and I'm highly to, tempted to... Uh, when we get to 100 uh, followers, we will debate... <laughs> debate Euclidean the, geometries? The oh. Euclidean and non-Euclidean geometries. We will have... A a whole seminar on topic. <laughs> oh God! You know what? Just for the sake, of, for the sake of being uh, correct, I am actually going to look up the definition of Euclidean geometry. By all means, by all means. Because oh, it, it really, it really annoyed me. Um. So Euclidean geometry is a mathematical <laughs> system that studies the proper uh, the properties of geometric shapes like lines, points, and planes based on a set of axioms and theorems developed by the ancient Greek mathematician Euclid, essentially focusing on the geometry of flat, two-dimensional surfaces. So if you're in 3D, if your girl is 3D, she's non-Euclidean. <laughs> she's 3D. Oh my god, Here's I can't a... believe I just went to that fucking space. Your anime your anime waifu is Euclidean! Ha! Take that! Oh god, well who have we offended now? Who haven't? Oh, uh, this is true. Uh you know one of the things I actually wanted to talk about. And and I we kind of got into it Abe and I a little bit yesterday. Um, no, it's not the thing you're thinking of, Abe. Um, although we can absolutely talk about that one too. Uh, so prior to meeting up with everybody for some Civ, which ended up being kind of hilarious, and I believe that game is now over. That game um, is over, yeah. Uh, uh, I and and my uh, my my partner we won. Yeah, the only I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some I'm gonna throw some absolute shade at Pat here. Um, so and also sorry, Jacob. Um, your only competition, myself and Scotty, got railroaded real hard in the early game, and we never recovered. Bro, everybody started like five turns before I did. I mean, let's, yeah, Coupe 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 definitely got suckered into that too all right i would like to find the coupe i was coupe yes, yes that's way later and somehow i did better yeah and and, I, and I'm, I'm only saying i'm throwing shade at pat and i said i'm sorry jacob because you got saddled with pat and pat pat is not great at competitive sith he's a decent player but he's not he would not have fared well in a domination match. I, I completely honest. I, well, look, I started like off in a out. terrible location. I would like Scotty to did it in a terrible you, location. You, Jacob, you did start five turns behind everyone, and I, I could have, I could but have. You could have nuked me right at the beginning. I could, I could have just gone in. 
and fucked you up, and that would have been it. That would have been game for you. But what would the fun of that been? You know? That, that wouldn't have been fun. That would have just been kind of dickish. So I didn't do that. Yeah, but we, coup, we Coupe and Incontinence was, incontinence was a terrible idea. battle to determine uh, who, who would take whose capital. Which then you decided to throw in the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, fine. I'll just, you know, bombard your city, your capital to hell. But, eh. That was a fun game. I gotta say, that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, nothing happened for the majority of it. And then all of a sudden, everything kicked off. Yeah, um, thanks to the, thanks to the bot. Oh my god, I got no, no, killed by a Dusquito. Here's, here's something else. Here's something else. Here's something else. So... The session before our final session, or maybe the session before that. Um, Jacob, you and Scott started, you know, rubbing up against each other's borders, right? No, and he Scott started, started rubbing up against my borders. Yeah, he started rubbing up against your borders, and he started massing a massive army of, of Keshex shit on your border. <laughs> and I think at that point, that kind of sealed the deal. Yeah, everyone else wasn't going to band together to stop Dylan and I, because <laughs> he had he had uh, <laughs> put an army on your border, and you would never be able to trust him ever again. <laughs> Not to one day come in on. Uh, that, I mean, kind of, to to be fair kind of to be fair to Scott, I'm gonna get killed by a gray dwarf because I I'm naked. Um, to be fair to Scott. You uh, you did build a couple of cities right next to his cities that he had had established for a long time. Yeah, I didn't even know they were there, my dude. They, they were. Where anybody he, was. They were like he, three tiles away from you. You don't understand. I legitimately didn't know. He didn't literally know. did not do any exploring until the mid game. Yeah, I stayed <laughs> where I was not. because I was more concerned about the fact that. Oh shit, guys! I just started fucking five, six turns after everybody fucking else. Big, big scary England is to my south. Yeah, I'm Abe was directly aisle. to my south, and I was like, I'm gonna fucking die. Except I'm pretty chill. What he didn't realize is I'm a pretty. Chill I'm a, dude. I was like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. and this this is really funny. I'm England, right? And or I was playing England. And the one thing that England is known for historically is kickstarting the Industrial Revolution. It's actually, not a lot. But kickstarting the Industrial Revolution and mining a fuck ton of coal, right? I had no coal. I had, I had no coal whatsoever the entire fucking game. I had to import coal from <laughs> and sell them oil just so that my fucking battleships could fight. It was like, god damn. And so I could build railroads, too. And not only that, you never found this out, Jacob, because the game ended. I had just discovered where uranium was. I had no uranium, but you did. Oh, man. I couldn't have nuked you if I wanted to because you had the uranium. <laughs> It would have been really funny, really yeah. funny if you had brokered a trade deal for uranium. And they'll go, hey, let me give it back to you. Man, what's that whistling sound? What the fuck is going on over here? Don't look great, Orbs. It's fine. I'm trying to sleep. Oh, wait, no, we need to get, we need to harvest wisps, right? Yep. Do we need to build more uh, wisp, uh, wisp harvesters? You know, I think we do technically have the uh, tiers to do it. We, we we actually probably could. Where are they? When, how long does it take to make them again? What the hell are they called? I got three more wisps. Uh, uh, wisp found. Wisp found. Stone and torn spirit. Which I think I have. Where the hell did I put the torn spirit? <laughs> Where? Where? <laughs> Where's the torn spirit? What's the deal with airline food? You want to know what the deal with airline food is? Yeah. It's the elevation. The pressure change uh, makes taste buds duller. 
So you actually don't have as much taste. Well, I don't know. I, I, I've been on some long flights, and I had, I had, uh, summer before last, a really delicious chicken dinner. They've, they've come a long really flights. long way in, um, fixing the food taste. I mean, food science yeah. has come way long time since Jerry Seinfeld did his little sketch about like that. Seinfeld. Look at Skyfall. You know what's really funny about Seinfeld? This is gonna be a this. I don't think this is gonna be a hot take. But you know what's really funny about Seinfeld? The fact that Seinfeld isn't really funny. He he's not. Uh, I agree <laughs> he's with not, you. He's not funny. <laughs> That's the funny thing. Seinfeld, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I just don't find your uh, your your work funny. Um, but hey, you know what? You made. Uh, Ab Seinfeld made an absolute killing as a comedian not being funny. So... I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, he, yeah, he's... I, I, you know, I have listened to some of his later stand-up specials, and they're not terrible. I don't... I'm still not a big fan of them. But it's not, it's not, it's not as bad as the what's the deal with airline food brand. What's the deal with carburetors? You know, that's. Oh, you know, speaking of which, I found something out recently. I'm going to have to, uh, you're... no, I, I'm not going to say, somebody remind me to look up carburetors because we're running out of the material in carburetors that actually makes them function. And there are alternatives that are way better and way more efficient to get and we need to switch to them and I don't remember what the hell it is and I don't remember what the hell the thing we're running out of is but cars are about to change in the next decade radically and I'm not cars just talking about electrical changing. I'm not just talking about electrical though actually Look, you wanna you wanna, you wanna know something that is really kind of scary was it are the way we get food the way human beings get food, agriculture, has, over the last hundred years, become heavily dependent on fertilizer. This is true. The materials, some of the materials necessary to make fertilizer, are a limited resource. That are only found in a few places of the world. Well, starting yeah, the specific fertilizers that we're using, there are other types yeah, of fertilizers that are better. The point is, we, in the near future, are also going to have to radically change how we farm. And if we don't, it's going to be, uh, well, things are going to get interesting over the next couple of decades regardless. But yeah, going to get extra yeah, we need to, as I have often said, we need to focus on sustainability, getting into fucking space, and a lot of more renewable sources, and we don't seem to like it. Uh, that that said, something I've learned, and I don't know the veracity of this, but supposedly, one of the unintended consequences of switching to renewable energy sources outside of coal is we're about to have to find a new source of cheap concrete. Apparently, uh, a byproduct of burning coal is a type of ash that is used in making strong and cheap concrete. Hmm. And if we're not burning coal anymore for power... We're not going to have this ash readily and well, cheaply available anymore. Yeah. England, <laughs> or the United Kingdom, whatever you want to call it, they just closed their last coal-firing power recently. Uh, like, well, in the last couple of weeks. But they still have coal mines, and they're still digging up coal, because coal is useful for things other than uh, producing electricity. Or being burned to produce electricity. Um... Like making concrete, for example. Well, you um, have to burn the coal to get that ash to make the concrete, so you still have to burn yeah, that coal, well, which is a bit of a problem. You're, you're right in that coal and carbon is useful for other things, for example, in the production of steel. 
you know, as an organism made primarily out of carbon um, and H2O, I, I agree that carbon is really cool and really important. Uh, I think all of us carbon-based life forms should really acknowledge the fact that carbon is the dopest shit. <laughs> Just saying. Eh. Carbon's pretty cool. Give carbon a try. <laughs> Give carbon oh, man, a try. I'm saying. Give carbon a chance. Oh boy. Mm. Oh, what Yo, the hell? Yorm, is that mm -hmm. frozen pizza no longer frozen pizza? It is done. It's in the kitchen. Fuck I'm yeah. Currently grinding block. <laughs> <laughs> Grind block. So, oh, he's gone away, so I'm not going to talk about this. I'll wait till he's back with pizza. I'm also tempted to make pizza myself, but. Um, one of the side bene uh, bonef uh, be be benefits of my current job that I, I now have, again, is uh, if there's big meetings, which I don't necessarily have to be a part of, it's just part of the thing of being in the office. Um, if there's big meetings, sometimes they bring in food, and there's lots of good free food for everybody, including people who didn't have to take part of any kind of meeting. So I got to pile two big plates of random deliciousness, and that was essentially my lunch and dinner, even though I also had a salad for lunch. Yeah, it was like uh, some kind of... Uh, I want to say it was some kind of Mexican rice. There was a uh, shrimp and scallop Alfredo pasta. There was some kind of shrimp and um, sausage, and gooey sausage, vegetable medley mix... There was a salad. Oh, it was a lot of good food. I don't know where it was from, but oh, it was good. I also, it was kind of funny. I thought it was a chicken Alfredo at first. And I was very, I was very surprised that I wasn't taking, tasting chicken. I'm like, this chicken's kind of strange. And it doesn't quite taste like chicken. I went back for seconds because they were still good. I went back for seconds and looked at it and it's, oh, it says it's a shrimp Alfredo. Okay. But I never found any shrimp in it. And then when I looked at the meat pieces, I saw that they were actually tiny little scallops. And I'm like, I'm fine with this. I love scallops. And that was my brain process of the day. Do we, do we even have tar? I don't think we have any more tar. Oh, we do still have tar. Ha ha! Alright, um, hmm. You. Now I need some wood. And I could make another one of these. Turned off the oven. Just that way I no problem. All right, we're gonna we've refined, uh, turned uh, all of the uh, soft tissue to refined item. All right. Need. I have. Uh, I've changed some things a little bit. God. The fuck? Why? Why is there a seal breaker? In Where? In the magic stuff chest. Uh, because I didn't really have any better place to put it, and we already used it.
We need more tar. I'm going to go to the plains and find tar. I have no idea where I can find tar. I also don't know where we have any plains portals that I could find tar. Mm. What about the um, farm? Yeah, I just don't know if there's any tar pits near there, but I can check. So, uh, I need tar to make more new chests, bigger chests. Because I, I, um, I, I replaced one of the, um, we had a wood chest, and I replaced it with a black metal chest so that we can put more wood in there. Very good. Oh, Jesus, I may die to a Deskito again. <laughs> <laughs> Those fuckers. Those fucking bastards. Uh, also, we may have lost locks to a, a Deskito, actually. What the fuck? I just died. Yeah, we have some Deskitos attacking our uh, Loxes. What do you want me to do about that? You require aid? I require food. I just need, I need enough health that they don't kill me. Which isn't a lot, but it's more than 25. <laughs> so what's oh. the little stamina-ish bar when you take a hit, when you're blocking? Uh, it is, it, it is a stagger bar. Is there any way to build that up, or? Uh, through the block skill. Eh. Uh, certain shields have more than others, too. I think the tower shield just can withstand blocks like that, but I, I don't remember. It's been a, it's been a minute. There's not a tower shield in our current roster of shields. I have a tower shield. shield. Yeah, but it's a wood tower shield. I have a black metal tower shield, but, like, there's no carapace tower shield. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Abe. 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 Motherfucker. Get your ass over here, boy. You dead again. I was How naked, and it was right there. Hence my oh god, oh god, oh god, Abe, I Abe, Abe. And oh my, oh my god. That motherfucker almost killed me. You guys require help? Condor calls for <laughs> aid. <laughs> and Rohan will answer. Uh, part of our wall broke on our new longhouse. What the fuck? We have 50 fucking tar over here. I don't need to be where I am. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck? I'm getting my shit. I'm grabbing the goddamn tar. Oh, you still need me here because you need to get this shit. I mean, we need to kill the Desquitos that are attacking our loxes. Unless you've done that. What is it called? Arbalist. The, the, the biggin. Barry! Ba Cat fuck, I'm hole. stuck in Barry's hole. No, we had four loxes, and there's still four loxes. And there's a bunch of needles here, which means the death mosquitoes were killed by the loxes. Which stands to reason, they're also hurt, and they're slowly going to regen health. Oh. Yeah, no, we're fine. Uh, we need some cloud berries to feed them. If you sprint jump, you can go up the walls. So you're telling me, so you want me to wander out here in this fucking hellscape? Find berries? Yes. Fuck. Right there on. should be some uh, patches near-ish to the base. Yeah, there's some. That's 
very descriptive. I'm grabbing some. I'm also fighting a fooling. Fucking little fuckers. I hate them. <laughs> I hate you! They, they are little fuckers. This is true. Oh, so anyways, back to what I was going to be saying. So before we got into the Civ talk and some of the other stuff, the thing that I was saying, I was going to say is prior to... Jesus Christ, the Death Skeeto. <clears throat> yes! Prior to Jesus Christ, there was only Death Skeetos. Kind of weird how um, that worked out. You know, we ended up fighting Death Skeetos. You were going to talk about Death Skeetos, but got sidetracked. My cat is farting right next to me and gassing me out. Yep, fuck, nerd. Kill that guy. I got him. All right. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So, with right before we got on, I got on for the sieve. I was talking with another friend of mine, um, and we were talking about hard conversations that need to be had with loved ones. Um, and how having hard conversations about our wants and needs is incredibly scary and it can be very difficult to approach them. Yeah. It, it, I, I realize I'm being vague but and, and kind of stating the obvious. So what, what, I, what I mean is in relationships, close relationships, whether it be between close, close friends or um, romantic relationships. Especially if we are suffering from certain traumas on our own, it can be difficult to bring up scary topics, such as our, our wants and needs in any form of relationship. Um, whether there be something that is not happening that needs to happen, cleanliness, bills... Uh, support, what have you. And it, it just, it's one of those things that trying to find the right way to have these conversations is not something that is taught or talked about a lot in our society these days. And I find that troubling. Right. Because, like, I, 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 now sponsored by Bad Dragon, how do you talk about, um... <laughs> oh, God, the leech killed me! <laughs> I'm sorry. That's how you segue, all right? That's the art of the segue. Not the art of, of talking to loved ones and family <laughs> your need. That's the art of the segue. By the way, we are not... <laughs> now sponsored our, by Bad Dragon. To my knowledge, we are not actually sponsored <laughs> by Bad Dragon. And, you know, look. Uh, this is, again, not sponsored. But uh, there's many needs. People have lots of different needs. Some of them are emotional. Some of them are spiritual. Some of them are physical. And if you are having trouble reaching your physical needs, Try bad <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I knew that was gonna get you, and I had to bring that up too. Um, no, we're we're still not sponsored by Bad Dragon, but oh boy, if only. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this. Um, ongoing joke. It's gonna be it's gonna be a forever joke. So. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned talking about this on stream. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it to uh, Abe and it, Jacob oh recently. No. Oh God! Oh no! They're everywhere! Oh no! 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 No!
Yeah, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> we got a winner. We got a winner, folks. Um. Ding, ding, ding. So to get back onto the topic and to 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 talk to to bring it more into focus. So I have been watching '90s and early 2000s sitcoms what lately. What the fuck happened? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. This it may be true that you've been watching '90s and 2000s um, <laughs> shit recently, but what the fuck? What? Why? 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 Why what? is it what? this broken? What? What the? What the fuck? What? I'm, I'm gonna have to get my stuff. I'm gonna have to fix this. I, this is. I, I knew there was one brick that was broken. What is there? More bricks that are broken? There's at least two bricks that are broken. What the fuck? Oh, this is the wrong portal. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Let me I... in! Let me in! Let me in! Um, anyways, in these early 90s... No, I should say late 90s, early 2000s sitcoms... Oh, that hurt a lot more than I thought it would. Dead Skeeto? <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? Why are we doing this? Well, I came here originally for tar. Now I don't need tar. I'm also in the swamp for circling cores and blood bags for food. Could you help me get my stuff? Yes. Where Actually, did you, you where help? did you die? Right next to the base. Okay. I am naked. And afraid. I the gate. I am not going to run for my stuff. Until I have reinforcements to reinforce me. I need to figure out where you died. This only having one food thing is kind of limiting. Um, but we're, we just don't have any others. Okay, where did you die? This way. Around the corner. Don't outpace me too much. I have, like, no stamina. How am I going out? Oh, God, you both died over here. Yeah, that, that's... All right. Getting the... Just, just run up the mountain. Just yeah. run up the hill. Fucking, I'm just leaving. Uh, the death mosquitoes do a lot of fucking damage. Yeah, they they were the terrors of us during the planes. Yeah, why? We, there's no reason for us to have returned here. Yeah, well, now that I've realized I there's a stack of fucking tar in near the base, I don't need to come back here. Uh, I was what, what looking we... for other mobs. Okay. To uh, to uh, we we need direction. Okay, listen, we need to get feathers. We need to get, uh, we need to get fucking, um, God damn it. Feathers. Soft, soft tissue. tissue. Uh, we need, um, we need more sap. Because we need, actually, yeah, we do need more sap. We're gonna need a lot of sap. We're gonna need a lot of tissue. Uh, we need to sleep. Oh, we need wisps, so we can't sleep. Um, I am uh, gathering tar to upgrade our chest situation. That's all well and good, but we need chests is not and chest is not the priority. We need to upgrade our gear. We need to get everyone cloaks, feather cloaks, right? We we and look, I know you want to wait. I know you really want to wait for the bog, witch, right? You're Just like, oh for God, food. Bog witch. Bog witch. But I, I'm telling you, we need... No, we need food. We need food. Well, we yeah, need, we, need, like... we need base level food, which is what I'm going to try to do, yes. Right. Please, please do base level food. Um, we need... We need... Uh... That's, that's one of the reasons why I was collecting uh, blood bags from leeches. Okay. For uh, sausage. Oh. We need, um... Teddy, would you like some sausage? Sertling cores, Yggdrasil wood. Um... Uh, we have seven Yg Yggdrasil scale, wood. We need scale hide. Um... That's farming rabbits. 
there is at our farm in the mistlands a big floaty bastard. Fuck. Like right above our portal. If somebody goes through there, they're gonna get fucked. And I don't know if we have any alternative portals near there. So uh, I think maybe at I don't know. I think so, but I, I don't I, I don't remember. Look, we need to take care of that as soon as possible. Uh, uh, well, I need to work on the food situation. Yeah, work on the food situation. But we're going to need to take care of that if People... we're going to want to get scale hide and uh, uh, sap soft. Well, maybe not soft. But if we wanna, if we wanna resume, and the special food for magic food, the special stuffs for magic. Food. People fucking That's putting true. things in the wrong goddamn Yorm, chest. Did you do this? What? Yorm, no. you're you're brilliant. No. Thank you for 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 making these. No, do not take that from Connor. Connor did this. Yorm, I'm so yeah. proud of you. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Yorm, for uh, standing up for me. You're welcome, buddy. Oh, Yorm, uh, I have a, uh, I have a, a n not so dangerous task for you. Oh. I want you to go to the dark forest and find blueberries. Okay, game bet. Let me just. I'm going the with you. Real quick, uh, Abe. How many slices did you take? Two. So, anyways, back to the the sitcom era stuff. During during that era of sitcoms, I'm not going to mention any, uh, but everybody should know which ones I'm talking about as soon as I state this. A larger man is often with a very hot, attractive woman, and the common thread at that time typically King is. Of I was very specifically not mentioning any, but thank you. <laughs> Sorry, he <laughs> came to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, now we're getting sued. Um, getting sued for mentioning the name of a sitcom that's thirty years old. Please continue. It's it's not thirty years old. It's maybe maybe twenty years old. Anyways, um, we are in the twenty twenties. The nineties was thirty years ago. Yeah, it came out in ninety eight and ran through to like twenty ten. Twenty eight would be um, thirty years. All right. Yeah. Fine. Regardless, the point is, in a lot of those sitcoms, it often featured a man who mostly won and done, rolled over and went to sleep. Like, that was the common thread of the time. And there are, there are people and relationships where that is a common thread. And it's not a matter of... Uh, it's not. It's not so good for the ladies who have to deal with that. Yeah. And the ladies trying to talk to their partners. Well, because I guess it's not just ladies. Because I guess it could be men who are one and uh, uh, not men, but women who are one and done, and then roll over on their partners too. But like, how do you bring up those kinds of topics with your partner, saying, "Hey, you know, it's all good that you got some, but where's mine?" Yeah, that is a common issue when I'm just in some relationships. Um, I've never been in a relationship of the romantic variety, so I have no experience. Do I not have I, any carrots? I, with any relationship, good communication. I don't have any fucking carrots. Listening to your partner, your loved one, whatever. Um, all of it I is all very important. Carrots. This bridge is super spooky when all the torches are gone. All the tor <laughs> Why are there more torches? Uh, kill things for resin. I mean, like, why are the... The torches are literally gone. Oh, shit. Who, who's no, over here nice smacking guy. things? Oh, yeah! I was gonna... What am I doing here? I need to fix the house! You went That's with Yorm to find blueberries. Dark. Yeah, have fun finding blueberries. I gotta fix the house. <laughs> oh, 
Why am I helping my friend? I need to make house. house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is kind of spooky with the mists and whatnot. Oh, I should check the wisps. Um, check the wisps. But yeah, you know, it's just... I mean... I gotta leave real quick so I can take the dog out. Yeah, go for it. I, I guess... Yeah, well, Damn it, Jacob's the only one in a relationship to where we can ask him these questions. Oh, well. Would you, would you like me to answer real quick? Yes. Um, how do you, as as the one, only one of us in a committed relationship, how do you approach the topic of uh, having difficult conversations similar to, but not necessarily including, uh, gratification of the bedroom kind? Don't be a pussy. Main point. Just do it. <laughs> either, either you both have a deep talk about what the problem is and how we can fix it, or they blow up at you. And if they blow up at you about something like that, they're not the person for you. Not worth it. I, you, you know what? I will actually agree with that. And I, I also stated um, to people who I have talked to in regards to that, um, Sometimes, if you're afraid of having those conversations, which is a viable thing, going to a couples therapist is not a bad thing. You don't need to be broken to go to a, a couples therapist. The best way I have described it to people is you take your car to a mechanic for a tune-up. Couples therapy, a couples counselor can often just be, God damn it, I activated motor. A couples therapy can sometimes just be a matter of going in for a tune-up. Everything's fine, but you still need to do a checkup, a tune-up on, on things, because guess what? Relationships are working parts, and with working parts, there's friction, and there is going to be degradation. You yeah. need to go yeah. in and get that tuned. Mm -hmm. And if you have trouble coming, at getting together and talking yourselves, and you have trouble knowing what those tools are for that maintenance, seeking outside help is perfectly viable. Yeah. Now sponsored Therapy. by BetterHelp. Therapy, therapy. You we're know, not sponsored just, by Battle Hope. We're not sponsored by anything, but you know. <laughs> yeah, just if, if you're having. There's nothing. There is no shame, in my humble opinion, in, uh, in checking in every now and again. Um, you know. There's, there's no shame in that. That's how you keep healthy. Long-lasting relationships. And Absolutely. Says the person who's never been in a long-term committed relationship. I I've been in some long-term relationships. I will fully admit I've had trouble finding long-term committed relationships. I'd love to be in love uh, committed long-term relationships. It's just dating is hard as an adult. That's a whole yeah. other topic of conversation that we could get into. But that's the um, that's the advice I've I've heard repeatedly. Uh, um, what the fuck is going on outside? Lots of random little shits. Don't worry about it. I mean, do worry about it, but don't like excessively worry about it. Is this motherfucker trying to break the fucking machine? Oi! Fuck off, shaman. Boar meat. Do we have boar meat? Uh, we don't have boar meat. Motherfucker was slapping our machine. Jeez. It'd be really funny if the machine slapped him back. We need soft tissue for the machine to slap him back. This is also true. Speaking of soft tissue, now sponsored by Blue Chew. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> God, there's so many ads for those kinds of things out now. Capitalism. Ugh, capitalism. In a capitalist society, we'll help you have more sex, but we won't help you with the result. Uh-huh. Nah. No, that's not. Well, that's not. That's all I'm going on to that. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh my God. 
Okay. Oh, I'm being we need stunk out by my cat. This is lovely. I'd say, what am I feeding you? But I know what I'm feeding him. I don't know what you're feeding me. You're feeding me? What the fuck? Anyway. Speaking uh, of which, now... Oh, no, I can't do it this week. Damn it. My my paycheck is already accounted for, and I haven't even gotten it yet. I'd love to go for that sushi buffet we talked about before, but I think that might be a next week thing. Ah. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to poker slash guys. Yeah, I want that to start up again. Speaking of uh, talking, um, I like that in our friends group, our our male friends group, we actually can have conversations about feelings. Yeah, that is that is also something that is not stereotypical. For men, and I like that we buck that trend. I mean, look. Also, hello, Solarite. Um, I'm, Hi. I may have missed what you said that uh, sounds like we might need it, uh, so I'm not sure what that reference is. I, I really wish there was a time stamp on when you were saying things. Maybe there is one? Let me see if I can see that. So I'm trying to remember what you said when you said it. God, I have not been paying attention to chat because <laughs> nobody's been in it. So welcome, Solarite. Sorry if I ignored you welcome. for a while. Yay. But um, you know what happens? You know what happens when uh, when men hold in their feelings? Uh, <sighs> rage, alcoholism, um. Uh, not oh the not soft tissue part <laughs> soft, soft, uh, getting soft tissue. Uh, the blue chew thing but you know it it any any man oh my god oh fucking shit we now have sausage be honest and open with their feelings it's not going to make a good partner a good parent a good anything all they're going to do is create more difficulty down the line. So yeah, no, you got to you got to be able it's no sharing your feelings, being open is not weakness. Talk I about your feelings so that your son doesn't beat his wife. Or that you don't beat your son's wife. I don't. Know. If you beat your son's wife, I hope your son beats you back. Yes. Domestic violence is a dangerous thing, kids. Don't do it. Uh, put all the honey in there. Feed them the raspberries. If I ever... If <laughs> raspberries I ever, aren't berries. Raspberries aren't berries, but you know what is? Pineapples. If I ever have a kid, right, and I find out that my kid, my, my grown adult kid, has been physically violent to their partner. I'm disowning that kid. The end. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh... Yeah, I'll square up. I'll, I'll teach that. I'll teach my kid what happened. You know, Marquis to Queenberry rule. I don't, uh... We don't care if my kid's a boy or girl. If they're violent with their partner, I will, uh... We'll go to the dojo and throw down. God, here, here's an unhinged thing. You know what should be brought back? Legalized dueling. Oh. Not necessarily to the death like before, but... Oh, you know what? That's actually a fantastic idea. Disown the kid, adopt the partner. You're no longer my son. They're my daughter. You know, I have heard stories of that actually happening. Um, so, yeah, no, it's um. No, oh, I need to put my belt on. Well, I mean, otherwise your pants are gonna fall down. I need to carry more weight. There we go. Ugh. 
Yeah, no, I have heard of that too. Where and I, I kind of like those stories where uh, it turns out that the kid was a, a piece of shit for whatever reason in the relationship, and the spouse was much beloved by the parents. And when it came out that the the child was a piece of shit through cheating or abuse or whatever, the the parents straight up disowned the kid, essentially adopted the, the spouse, and was like, you know what, we're going to help you through everything and we're going to make sure you got this. You're still invited to Thanksgiving. They're no longer invited to the cookout. Yes, I did just mix some metaphors there. Why not? Why not? If you don't know what being invited to the cookout is, you're probably a racist. <laughs> yeah, I just threw that wild thing out there. Okay. <laughs> I am not a racist. <laughs> I am not familiar with that terminology, apart from actually being invited to the cookout. So... Okay, I will explain it, because it's, it's, it's not all that bad. Um, Maybe it's because I'm, I'm a pasty white guy. Th yes, probably. I'm not that um, but I am white. Colloquially, cookouts are African-American, and I do sp specify African-American because it is an American culture, um, an African-American gathering of bringing food, cooking burgers, and all that. It's known as coming to the cookout. And so being invited to the cookout basically means that you are cool with the African-American community. And traditionally, a lot of white people have not been invited to the cookout because they do things like putting raisins in the coleslaw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have been, I have been invited to the cookout. Yeah. Uh, I was... I absolutely said that unhinged thing for the sake of uh, comedy rather than anything else. Because, yeah, the the idea that you wouldn't know what being invited to the cookout is means that you are not aware of invited that. Cookout. Yeah, you're not invited to those cookouts, and therefore you are not considered, I guess, quote-unquote, safe to that community. Mm -hmm. And you have not yeah. been exposed to that culture enough to know what that means. So, yeah, a li little bit of uh, education. Granted, I am a pasty white guy myself, so take everything with a you, you giant... Are pasty. I'm, I, I'm white, <laughs> but I'm not, not pasty. I tan like fucking crazy. I'm Irish. I'm as white as you can get. Um, <laughs> and we also know how to season our food, unlike the English. I am going there. <laughs> Uh, I've it's, had, I've had it's true, I glow in the sun. I've had some decent English. England! Let's conquer the world for spices and then not use any of them. Yeah, that's very England. That, yeah, I oh, will... Oh, we do have Yggdrasil wood! Oh! Yeah, you may have missed me saying that we had like seven of that shit. We don't have a Why lot. Why the fuck? Alright, we need to stop chopping. Well, we chopped a lot of the trees for the seeds for feeding the chickens because we don't really have better ways of feeding chickens. Uh, we need the see. That's the, that's the other reason why I want the bog witch stuff to come out because it'll increase the farming skill, which hopefully means we can grow crops faster, which means we can get more seeds to give chicken feed and more turnips. I am we waiting need for all more of these. Well, yeah, we're not. I'm not going back to f the fucking area with those things because I'll die without the food we have. We do have sausage. You can eat sausage now. Oh, thank God. Yeah, sausage is a good, cheap food I was able to make lots of. Uh, I'm back, guys. Did Here's you find. Back. Were you able to find. Oh shit, you left the game, left the game. Yeah. I thought you just like parked AFK somewhere. I didn't even notice that. Nothing English is decent. 
Uh, you know, there are some things that are English that is decent. I will, as an Irishman, I will straight up say that English tea is pretty good. It's nothing on as, berries, but it's still good tea. As an American who's traveled to England like... on a vacation, I have had English food, and no, not, I mean, I've had food in England that wasn't English food, but was like Indian or Thai or whatever, but I've had English English food that was decent. That's that's that. So, look, England England has had a lot of issues. England has done a lot of fucked up shit. All right, but the stereotype that all English food bad, haha, crummy crummy, that's not that's not that's not accurate. Okay, you say English tea is shit. I have to qualify. Do you di do you drink other teas, and what other teas do you enjoy? Because if you come in and say that you don't drink tea, and you're still saying English tea is shit, I'm going to come at you. Yeah. Not for disliking tea. That's a perfectly valid statement. But if you dislike tea, and then claim that other kinds of teas are shit... Like, I... Uh, no, nah, not going to go I for don't it. Like coffee. I, I don't like coffee at all. Um, by any stretch of the imagination. But I don't go around saying, this coffee is shit. Because I think all coffee is shit. Exactly. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of expected. I'm not going to like coffee if I drink. Um, well, are there coffees that you think are less shit? I haven't had enough coffee to be able to quantify that statement. Um, Keep it a little Have you had more than one cup of coffee? Yes, I've had like maybe three or four cups of coffee. Of course. Okay. In my life. Of those four cups of coffee, did any of them are were any of them the same? Did they come from the, the same place? No, they did not come from the same place. The least shitty cup of coffee I ever had was coffee that had a whole bunch of other shit thrown into it, like sugar and cream and just you know a metric fuck ton of things that weren't coffee. AKA and candy coffee. Shit. Yeah, and that was the least shit. You know why? Because it tasted the least amount of coffee. Um, but it still tasted like coffee, <laughs> and therefore, I did not like it. <laughs> I, I would love at some point, and this is, this is a complete different side project, I would love at some point to present to you different types of coffees and see what you may think of them. And when I say different types of coffees, I don't just necessarily mean different blends, but like cold brew versus espresso versus um, different brewing styles, because those brewing styles do change the flavor palette and might be something that you enjoy. That said, while it will be a fun experiment, if you'd be willing to do that at some point, Given how I know your taste in beer, I do not expect you to in to like, truly like most of them. Look, oh, did I'm, you tell Connor about that really good beer we had at Das Beer Hall? There, that was a really good beer. That was, oh my god. We were at this um, Bavarian place. And yeah, it's, it's, a German, it's a German restaurant, but they have Bavarian flags everywhere. And it's just very extremes Bavaria. All right, so it's it's Bavarian, right? We were there, and there was this beer. I completely forgot about this. Thank you for reminding me. Fuck, what was it called? Um, it was like this 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 strawberry it's beer Fruity. type thing. What was it called? Fruity. Fruity. It was. Um, I think it was a Belgian beer. I might be mistaken. Um, Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to look this up now. But it was it was the first beer I've ever had that I genuinely enjoyed. Um, genuinely. You... Uh, Fruly. I wonder. I'll have to ask. Fruly I'll have to... Strawberry Beer. My computer is listening to talk. Uh, Fruly <laughs> Strawberry Beer. It is a Belgian white fruit beer. Interesting. Uh, so, I'll have to ask Adam... Uh, when I'm, I'm going to have to get him to like, let me know when specific things are in, in stock up at brewery fire. Um, because if brewery fire does something similar to death to smoochie, 
which was a sour, but it was like a smoothie sour. The best way I can describe this beer is it was almost as thick as a fruit smoothie, right? Like a berry smoothie. Um, it wasn't it wasn't quite as thick, and it didn't have the consistency because you, you know with smoothies it has the ice in there. But it, it was very nearly there. But the flavor was on point as a uh, a sour berry smoothie. It was fucking delicious, and I think that it might be something that you enjoy if you like sour fruit, like you know blackberries, raspberries, blueberries. I can I can drink a sour beer. But like for the most part, I'm not gonna really. It, it wasn't. It wasn't quite thick, and it. I'm not doing it justice. So that that's why I say it was almost the consistency of a smoothie. Because you you know how smoothie you can you can drink a smoothie in a glass, or you can have it through yeah. a straw for that. Um, and and if, I mean, if you really want to talk about it, there are thick beers out there. If you if you take a look at any of the beers that are almost called liquid bread, like Guinness, Guinness, I would yeah. qualify as a thick beer. So yeah. beer count as bread. In ancient in, <laughs> Babylonia and Sumeria, it does. Um, I mean, those quantities also had more yeast, less alcohol, and was very nearly liquid bread, yes. I mean, it, okay. it is quite literally the... Uh, only way we were able to drink water is by converting it into beer. I am having a... Uh, is this all important for things? Yes, I use it for sausages. Yeah, I'll get this. Okay, I've, been, I've been collecting thistle and blueberries. Perfect. Uh, we probably are going to need more entrails. I've, I've collected some other raw foods. Oh, um, I'm also picking up uh, deer and mushrooms. Yeah. yeah, the mushrooms are good. We're going to need the carrots to make the deer into deer stew. Uh, beer is indeed bread soup. And also, if you have a soy mocha latte, you, it, you're drinking a three-bean soup. I may have made that joke already, but I'm going to make it again. Um, what the fuck is this? You, you mentioned carrot seeds. Found carrots? Hey, if you found seeds, that's great. That that makes it easier to plant stuff. Yeah, I found uh, carrot seeds in the middle of the dark forest. Yeah, that's where we originally got them. We oh, can't okay. tame deer, can we? What? No. 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 I you mentioning smoothies has given me a flashback. When I was a kid, right, we would go to uh, my my father, my sibling, and I. We would go to Saturday morning services uh we go to the youth service because we were kids then afterwards afterwards we would go to fields which was this um it was this you know those old-timey uh uh diners that were also drug stores and shit oh yeah those places were awesome oh yeah it was oh, right fuck. in the middle of pikesville it it was a diner it was a, and it was also a an old timey drugstore type place, and we would get milkshake. Uh, my sibling and I would get a milkshake, and my dad would get some coffee. So, and those were the good milkshakes milk too. He, it, oh my gosh, best milkshakes I've ever had came from Fields. It was so good, and I'd recommend you go visit Fields. Except, uh, like maybe ten years ago, it closed. And now it's an auto parts store. Wow, oh. which is sad. It's like one. It's like AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts or whatever. And it's getting old is not fun. Right. <laughs> getting old is not. For the... Do not recommend uh, it. Let's let's just go back. Let's go back to the '90s when things were great. That was one of the high. That was one of the, the nice, really nice parts of my childhood, right there. And then, gone. It's true what they say. Uh, you can't cross over the same bridge twice. It, yeah, there's also the saying of the like what um. You can go back, but you can never truly go home. Something like that. Yeah. 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 What part of the '90s do I miss? 
Oh God, I could go into a whole fucking discussion about that. Uh, definitely. I miss. I miss the, uh, going to preschool. The late, honestly, the late nineties <laughs> are where it's at. Um, I miss the cartoons of that time. Yeah. Well, yeah, and the cartoons of the t- the early two thousands were great too. Actually, back when Cartoon Network was actually Cartoon Network. Um, what I miss in the late 90s, right before the millennium, was most of the world was pretty much okay. Like, things weren't so bad. Stuff was affordable. Um, Jobs were there. Xenophobia was low. Don't be in the Balkans. Fine. No, fuck them, them aliens. I don't it's, ever want to see a tyrannid ever. That's you know what? <laughs> wrong kind of xenophobia. I, 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 I wasn't sure where you were going with that at first. I got kind of worried. Guys, <laughs> you, you like that uh, that little uh, hat trick I pulled on? Yeah, I'll I'll give you that Fuck one. Them, <laughs> you know what? Let's be xenophobic. It's really in this year. Let's find a nasty, slimy, ugly alien fear. No more cutesy stories about E.T. phoning home learn to love our neighbors like the Christians learned in Rome. I am I'm That's still I mean. I'm still sad about Cartoon Network sounding. You know, you know, speaking of Cartoon Network, uh one of the things that I I've recently got reintroduced to was the Cartoon Network cartoon what was it? The Cartoon Jams. Um where they did songs of some of the cartoons that showed up like Magilla uh Magilla uh Magilla Gorilla for sale, Magilla Magilla God, I am getting tongue-tied. Magilla Gorilla for Magilla sale. Magilla Gorilla? Gorilla for sale. We've got a gorilla for sale. Magilla Gorilla for sale. Magilla. Magilla Gorilla. We have a gorilla for sale. Magilla Gorilla. What the fuck do Magillas have to do with gorillas? I will. F- I will private. find you that video and I will I send it to you. Because the you. the Magilla. song is a bop. The cartoon was Magilla. called Magilla Gorilla. Okay, so for those who don't know, which is probably everybody watching. I also don't uh, know what a Megillah is. The story of Rosh Hashanah, uh, the Jewish ha not Rosh Hashanah, what am I talking about? The story of Purim, sorry Rosh Hashanah. Are the yellow that? mushrooms good? I, I, they're used for a mead that we don't bother with anymore. Look, the story of Purim is contained in a scroll called the Megillah. And what the fuck... What the fuck happenings in ancient Persia have to do with gorillas? I have no fucking idea. So that just threw me for a little bit of a. You know, I'm I'm gonna do this right now. He's gonna find a Dilla gorilla. The world is truly a strange place. Yes. I saved seven hundred dollars with Liberty Mutual. Go away. I know that just got hurt on stream, but I don't care. Go away. I am. I am actually. Where am I gonna put this? Uh, I'll throw it in memes. Sure, what? Magilla gorilla. But yeah, so there was a bunch of like cartoon. Yeah, Cartoon Network Groovies is what they were called. Um, th- but there was a bunch of them that showed up from from some surprisingly big artists. Like they might be giants. Did two of them at least. Um, and they were songs about the cartoons on Cartoon Network and Boomerang, and they, oh, they were fucking great. Back, oh, fucking back when Boomerang actually was good, too, for that matter. I, uh, I did not appreciate Aww. Boomerang growing up. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this is gonna be, this is kind of weird. Uh, y'all remember, um, y'all remember Four Kids Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, God. Oh, God. But, frickin', frickin' Pegasus, sipping grape juice <laughs> and reading comic books, never got, never got old. Well, I fucking loved I also, I also he loved the fact that they, they, um, they... Instead of, you know, what he was actually. Yeah, they censored they censored all the guns in that, 
Oh, they didn't. Guns? Yeah. yeah, they didn't replace them with anything. So you'd have you'd have some people holding somebody around that with their fist in their face, making a very obvious sign, but there was nothing there. <laughs> oh, they uh, they censored One Piece. There's uh, one of the the pirate captain guys. He uh, smokes in the uh, anime. Well, what is Sanji, but, uh, right? In America, yeah. Uh, they wouldn't let him smoke on TV, so they replaced it with a lollipop. Just a cigarette replaced with a lollipop, and they didn't even take away the smoke effect. So it's just a lollipop <laughs> He's sticking out of his mouth. a lollipop! No, no, no. The, the candy part was outside of his mouth. He was chewing on the, the, the other end. Right? <laughs> so the candy's outside of his mouth. And he's holding it with his mouth, and oh, smoke's man. coming out of the candy part of it. Man, four kids was wild with their censorship. Four kids, what the fuck was up with four kids? Oh, can we have any of the food? I just got fucking beat. I man, I have told you repeatedly, the sausage oh. and salad is what you can eat. Salad. Okay. I'm just, I'm just making sure, man. Jesus. <laughs> I'm giving you shit. I'm giving you shit because I've said it multiple times. But I'm no Jesus. Just salad and sausage. Yeah, no Jesus. Just salad and sausage. It's the S and S. Try to be a good boy, okay? I'm trying. I mean, to be fair though, who wouldn't want to be Pegasus, a man who made millions off of a children's card game? A children's card. And this was before it was on motorcycles. Yeah. I mean, why would you not want to play a children's card game on motorcycles? That's like the only way to play a children's card, card games game. on motorcycles. motorcycles. Yes, hey. God, that's a whole thing. Uh, there are 14 turnips in the thing for you. Oh. Egg. I will take... Oh, wait, hang on. It takes four, right? It takes... <laughs> I'll plant the other two. The so, fun, fun story that I found out about uh, Pegasus and his voice, too. Um, his voice? Yes, you know how he had that very particular, like, hey, Yuki boy. Yuki boy, yeah. Um, that was actually a surprisingly faithful um, adaptation? adaptation of the Japanese voice actor. Really? The affectation that the Japanese voice actor did, um, the, 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 the way that the American dubbing was, was done both the accent in Japan and the the kind of the stylistic methodology to it was replicated for it so it wasn't exactly this like if you listen to the two the accents and the the methodology isn't the same but the tonality of it and the style for it what they represented was matched by the American dubbing and apparently the Kaiba boy Kaiba boy is I, from what I've heard, is replicated near one to one between the two. Like the Japanese voice actor did actually say "Kaiba boy." Like he didn't just do the Japanese part, which I'm not even going to bother trying to say, because I'm not Japanese and I do not know it. Well, 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 Kaiba boy, you've come all this way to save Bakura. I'm going to trap your soul in a card now. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> Pegasus has trapped Kaiba's soul in a card. <laughs> Why am I upset about this? Kaiba's a douchebag. <laughs> Pegasus. Screw the rules. I have me. money. Unless you defeat me in a children's card game, I'll keep 
Grandpa Bakura, not Bakura. What was it? What was his little, what was the little brother's name? Mokuba. Uh, Mokuba. B Mokuba and Kaiba's souls trapped in cards forever. I mean, Mokuba's not That's too bad. Well good, but you can keep Kaiba. I don't. Give a fuck <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Screw the rules. I have money. <laughs> I mean, uh, Kaiba legitimately won at one point by uh, preying on, I can't remember if it was either Joey or, I think it was Yugi's, Yugi's sense of uh, well-being by saying, if you defeat me, I'll be blasted off of this roof and you'll have killed me. Yeah, he literally threatened to unalive himself. Yeah, Shadow Realm was death in the Japanese word. The, that was part of the censorship the four kids did. Shadow, like, and that was why it's so funny later. He was just sent to the Shadow Realm, right? <laughs> right? He, he's, he's falling down a, 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 a giant skyscraper uh, through planes of glass. and He, he just went to the Shadow Realm. Uh, Yugi, you straight up murdered a man. <laughs> God, I love that. I love that so much. I love sending people to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> ah. the, the, oh my god. A lot of those a lot of those things were so silly. Which <laughs> early early dubbing and early anime is a gem. At some point, at some point I 5000% need to actually sit down and watch the American dub. Of ghost stories. We have, by the way, 48 wisps. 48 wisps? Nice. I've been doing my part. I'm you doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. <laughs> I ain't done shit. <laughs> I ain't done shit. <laughs> you know... No, you don't. No, you really don't. I know um. what. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> the, um, no, 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 no. Not mother is saying I need to avoid the American version of ghost stories. Because, I mean, you're right. The American version of ghost stories has aged like the finest of goat milks. And it has not become a cheese. Um, oh, no. Yeah, no, the, the dubbing of... <laughs> I need to watch it just for the cultural cringe. I understand how bad it is. I've seen clips of it. I still need to watch it because I need that eye bleach for later. Mm -hmm. it, it's one of the things that I missed in the zeitgeist of the time, and I need to go through it for my own street creds purposes. Okay, you know what I saw recently? <laughs> like, you I need a reason for that. At, I mean, sure, if you want to get drunk and we... You know what would be fun? I'm sorry to cut you off there. But this would actually be fun. Doing a ghost story stream and we just get drunk while doing it. You know what I saw What I saw recently? I saw uh, Boy and the Hair. Oh! I do yeah. want to watch that. Especially because the heron is voiced by Robert Pattinson and you'd have no fucking clue. It's true. You'd have no fucking clue. Um, <laughs> he, he does not sound like Robert Pattinson. At least Wh in, the, uh, in the dub. Yeah. Um, which I, I am stating as a good thing, which means that he has some incredible vocal range. Yeah, he does. He does. But no, it was good. I really liked it. Uh, a few of the twists I saw, like, a mile away. For example, when beep and beep discover that beep. Yeah, please so. don't do that. That's just... Oh, God! All the... <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Shit! Sound effects what have I done? <laughs> I have done a terrible thing. Did you kill all the chickens? No. But all the chickens tried to escape at once before <laughs> they're slowly coming back in. I apparently forgot to close the one of the doors, and just all of the chickens decided to move to, into the doors. At least you didn't kill them. I am going to go butcher some chickens for both feathers and chicken meat. Um, but, Boy oh my Heron. god. Boy and the Heron was really good. I liked Boy and the Heron. Um, greatly enjoyed it. Uh, would recommend. 
There we go. That's Guys, I found a crypt, and I cleared it all by myself. Did you get um, some more, uh, Sirtling cores from it? I got 11. Oh nice. Oh god. Okay, right, very lucky. Yes. Now all I need is more Yggdrasil wood. And, um... I'll, uh, I'll be able to upgrade my staff. That'd be nice. Alright. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna kill one more chicken. One, two, three. There, there's five chickens left alive. I think that's good enough. We'll have to get more seeds to feed them to get more chickens. How many feathers did I get? I got 16 feathers out of that. How many feathers do we need for a cape? Mm, 10. Uh, and we have 17, so yeah, we almost have enough for the next cape. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We wait a, a lot minute. Of I have a cape. Fine eater. Am I the only one who has a feather cape right now? Yeah, we only made one feather cape. Okay, just checking in. I um, have four feathers. Oh uh, yeah, well, uh, if we get, we we need twenty refined eider per cape. Uh, but we have all the feathers for two the two other capes then. How much refined eider do we have? Mm, that's a good question. We have. Um, like, oh, uh, we have to 12. visit the cartography table to uh, update it with things that we found, yes? Yeah. Uh, I yes. Found a, I found a, a copper deposit. Huh. I mean, I don't know how useful it's going to be. But... Uh, not as useful as it used to be since we can mine the ancient tools. Yeah. But still. Alright, yeah. we have 15 refined eider. So we need another 25 refined eider. Well, we need we, we also, need a lot more of that to upgrade armor and whatnot. We also need, yeah, we also need scale hides. We need one more scale hide, and then we'll have all the scale hides for the feather cubes. To upgrade... Sucks the cattails on the thing we can eat. We need so much of this fucking eider. Oh my... Gah! Yeah. We need to listen. We need to we need to go through. We need to kill that gal. We need to all do this right now. Okay? So we uh, can gather more eider. Grab some fire resist potion, people. I'm going to eat a magic food. I've got I've drunk a fire resist mead. Actually, a wine, a barley wine. Yeah, well, uh, I think I'll find that. Uh... <laughs> I, you know, I try very hard not to be one of the um actually guys, but I, I have also been one of those people who will correct. I just try not to. Actually, I, I don't mind. Fine. I'd rather I'd rather be a technically than an um actually. There and there is a slight difference. Okay, here we go. Prepare for battle. Place right on top of us. Jesus motherfucking Told Oh you. god, the ticks. I mean the fire resist is helping a lot, but ugh. Aim. Okay, so they, they are resistant to fire damage. Use ice. And hit them in the egg sack. Hit them in the balls! In the balls! And it's also being hit by the uh, the ballista now that it's in range of the ballista. Yeah, go, Ballista, go! Woohoo! 
Thank Love you. that explosion. Okay, we need we need Yggdrasil wood. Um, yeah, we we have. I'm not I'm not bothering harvesting that. That said, I am gonna try to kill that hare. I missed terribly. How many? Forty six arrows left. Soldier. Shit, really? Yeah, really. Help. I'm coming. I should also wear the goddamn wisp. Help. Oh, there's another gyal! Why is there another gyal here? No! Fuck, there's a tick on me! No, don't eat me! Please! Oh, no. This is not good. Anyway. And that's the quality gaming content you get here on Flip It Flip. Oh, no! The sap extractor! Or the sap track. Your line, of course, is when have you ever called it the sap tractor? The answer is shut up. Alright, the soldier's dead. Great. Now I have to get my stuff and kill the the gyal. I'm I'm somehow blocking the tick, even though it's on my shoulder. I love this. This is fantastic. Alright. Alright, I'm trying to uh, lead it away. Did you drink fire resist mead and did you eat? I ate. Okay, I'm going to try to drag the uh, the gyal into range of the ballista. Oh no! Run! Thanks. Run! I'm trying, but I'm already low on stamina. Kill it. <sighs> oh, you're gonna... I might die. Oh boy, this is this is not good. I got my items. Whew. The portal so I can put all my stuff. Yeah. And I'll come the back. ballista, the ballista is still firing somewhat. I'll, I'll it's done it work. Goal. I am a great and mighty wizard. Hey, y'all, it dead. Hey, y'all, it y'all. For like the last y two y'all fights, I've been just running back. And that's it. Nothing happened. It was just me running in the woods. I do not like whatever I just heard. Uh, so what that was was a uh, uh, something called a a gyal, a gyal. Uh, G J A L L, um, Gallerhorn Gall. We've been calling it a yall or gall, Gallerhorn. Because it makes sounds like the Gallerhorn, and it kills you like the Gallerhorn. Are you talking Destiny Gallerhorn? Why not? I mean, it does fire a lot of projectiles that explode, so technically... Technically. God, I haven't played Destiny. game I haven't played in a while. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. The, and the, there's some new shit that's happening. There's a new season and new content drop, apparently. Also, The Witness is finally dead. Really? Oh, good. Yeah, the end of the witness. I have no idea what the hell they're doing in their story now anymore. Uh, to be I, honest, I lost track of the story like maybe two, three seasons in. Yeah, I mean, I liked their story, but also back when Activision owned them, they they kind of lost the plot with me for a while. 
And when uh, Nolan North replaced, um, oh my God, what? Nathan Fillion. I was I was like thinking Nathan Statham, and that's not it. Um, when Nolan North replaced Nathan Fillion as Cade Six for one expansion, and then they killed Cade Six. That's when I really lost it, because Cade Six was the man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he comes back, doesn't he? Isn't that a thing? Spoiler. He he came back in the in the most recent official DLC, but he wasn't technically alive. He was a ghost. There's reasons for it. Supposedly he came back as part of an Ahamkara wish. And uh, I will spoil this because technically that season has ended and a new season has started. Um, he gives up his light to return the light to you after you drain your ghost killing the witness. But here's the important question. Who voices that version of Kate Simpson? Nathan Fillion came back for that. Yay! Okay. Yeah, that's that's like the only the only reason why I would I kinda wanted to have played it, but I was like so far gone from the plot line. And so many goddamn things. Crow Crow uh, Aldrin, Prince Aldrin goes bad, dies, comes back, is now a guardian. But that's total amnesia. Yeah, for a while. Well, he he gets guardian. it back again. Yeah, they brought back the fan favorite. To be fair, and I will admit, I agree with you. They brought back the fan favorite character just to kill them again. However, they actually did, from what I've seen, and because I, I, I watched the lore of it, from what I've seen, they actually did a pretty damn good job of giving him a, a final send-off. So they brought back a fan favorite character to actually do his goodbye justice. And I will allow that. I had. No, first death of Cade Six. I thought it was fucking awesome. The de the the original death of Cade Six was okay, only because it wasn't Nathan Fillion. What? It was awesome. His last stand against the scorned and fucking. Old but it wasn't was awesome. Nathan Fillion. I don't so. It was an M. It was. It was Cade Sex, not Cade Six. Okay. Whatever. It was badass. Um. You know. You know what character I thought was really done dirty in video games. Which one? Cortana. Yeah. They kill. They legitimately kill her off screen between games. Yeah. Which is. After, you know, like, completely gutting the fucking character. Yeah. By the way, I hate to tell you not, Mother, uh, you do not sign up for it. Uh, Cade 6 is canonically gay. Wait, is he? What? Yeah, he had a husband. Oh, really? huh. cool. Uh, yeah, we, well, I should say not Cade 6 specifically, but the man that becomes Cade 6 had a husband, and both he and his husband were turned into Exos. Well, that um, that sucks, but still. Yeah, there there was there's a there's a whole thing, and what's crazy is that their kid also got turned into an Exo. Are you yeah. telling me there's a Kate Seven? No, Kate. That's a joke. Kate, that's yeah. A joke. <laughs> if you don't understand the Exos, then that's a joke. A joke. Um. The 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 the, K, the 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 kid of K six and I can't remember the his husband's name. You can find uh, them in game. I can't remember what their name is, but they're in game. Okay. Uh, have you brought back the? Um... I, I mean, pants and a hoodie might do it, but. I don't know. You're a little you're a little short for a stormtrooper. Okay. Um It it's a riff on the fact that stormtroopers were all clones, but also I, that women are shorter than men. I Yeah, yeah, ain't no king like a short king. I will. I'll give you that. Stormtroopers are not well, it, it de uh, so depending upon the, the the mythos and which stormtrooper legion it is, you're absolutely correct. Um, 
stormtroopers, at least initially, were still made up of the clone troopers, but over time they were being phased out by regular militia, yada, yada, yada. Star Trek lore gets weird. Star, Star Trek? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Fuck you. <laughs> end your life. <laughs> you go, man, that's Star Trek lore. Pretty weird. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> oh, I did you... that just to set him off, and it worked beautifully. Oh, did you bring oh, back... I Did you bring back berries? Berries acquired? Yes. Look at where the jelly is, cat, or jet, not jam. The fucking, uh... <laughs> to the jellies, no, not the jellies, the jam. The jelly jam, jam, jelly, jelly jam. Were there two Deverga extractors that I got? Oh, nice. What? Good job, that's good, that's good. Go oh, mm, shit, I'll, I'll have to put up I'm another sap extractor. I'm going to go sit in my throne. Uh, it is, it is all the time. Oh, um, uh, how many feathers did you get? We have 17 in the, the arrow chest. This was discussed earlier, that, and you even said you had four. Oh, how many feathers are necessary for the cloak? Ten per. <laughs> Jacob, you were part of this conversation! <laughs> you were very cognizant to this conversation when we had it. What The important question is, what weighs more, a kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers? The answer is steel, because steel is heavier than feathers. I hate this. <laughs> They're the same. Heart, what do you so... mean? They're both a kilogram, but steel is heavier than feathers. <laughs> I, I mean, if you feathers. really want to get technical, edge. the answer is feathers. Oh, that's good. Um, also, there were feathers up in the magical chest. Um, yeah. We had enough feathers before. There's 13 left over now. Oh. Fuck it. Idiot. Oh, it. That was a joke, by the way. You know, I'm all for your mom jokes, but they have to actually be good. Oh, I've got a joke. Your mom. See, that <laughs> is a good your mom joke. <laughs> I got a really good your mom joke. Your conception. You know, it's bad enough that I actually do know uh, when and how I was conceived. Oh god, no. That's the worst. Yeah, so nothing nothing you say can affect me. I mean, that's not exactly true, but okay. <laughs> uh <laughs> it's, just, it's just like that's not exactly true, but <laughs> we'll go with it. Did we ever did we ever You did. Perfect. Okay. I gotta see where you put turnips. They're just fucking everywhere. So we've got the turnip on the table, which is a very good place for, the, for that turnip. Oh, that's perfect! I love that so much. And yeah, that's, that's also... Abe, good job. You know what else is coming uh, in the Bog Witch update that I am looking forward to? I'm glad you appreciate what I did. I didn't want to say what I did, but you noticed, and I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm also not saying what you did, so that Yorm can uh, find out and appreciate it. Um, but something else that's coming in the Bog Witch update that I am looking forward to um, is apparently they're going to have a platter where you can place consumable items on it, like... Uh, Oh, I didn't notice these guys. That's also good. Um, similar wait, to how you guys? have the, wait, wait, the tankers. Wait, 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 wait. Which guys? Which guys? Those two. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to have platters so, like, we can put food on tables. For decoration. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah? Plan, by the way. 
Yeah, uh, I was able... You can look now... I mean, it's kind of like, what is it? Spoiler tagged out? But you are actually able to look at the patch notes that are up on the public test um, realm for Valheim. And one of the things that's coming with, that I'm very looking forward to is uh, the scythe, which allows you to speed up the harvesting of your crops, and the serving tray allows you to place any consumable item like a build piece. Wow. Oh, uh, I like this as well. Uh, also coming, uh, we talked about the cooking and the farming before, but apparently crafting is going to be a skill too, which will reduce the time it takes to craft items and increase the durability of crafting items. Reducing the stamina cost of placing build pieces, which I think is great. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the stuff that's coming in the Vogue Witch is absolutely quality of life increases. We're going to have to hunt down the Vogue Witch, which means we're going to have we are gonna have well, to go to the new Bog swamps. Is the Vogue Witch something we're going to have to kill? No. She is like Hildur and uh, Hodir. Uh, she is a... She is yeah, she's the vendor. We're going to have to find her, which means she's probably going to spawn in one of the swamps we haven't found yet, because I think that's how they do that. I could be wrong. I'm not sure how they're how she spawns. I'll, I'll try to... Well, I haven't found any information on it, but hopefully it'll be released. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the new cooking recipes and increasing that, because... Oh, God, that may actually solve our fucking food problems. Oh, what well, recipes are going to be a thing, then? Uh, I mean, I could look at it again, but they're, they're adding a whole bunch of spices that are supposed to help that. But the main thing is the cooking skill will give me a chance of cooking more items per item. Oh. But, yeah, no, we got a lot. We got a lot done. We, we, we've gathered resources. Um, we still need, we need so much soft tissue and we need so much sap. We need so much, we need refined fucking eider. It's going to take, it's going to take forever, but, um, we're going to get it. We're going to upgrade our shit. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to cheat although, again. I think yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, we need, you're going to cheat. It, soft cheat. I'm going to look. I'm going to go look up the map to see if it, they they actually will show us where the hell those skeleton heads are. Okay. I'm not gonna. But, I'm not gonna item. The only item duping I did was when it didn't drop from us for, from the fucking boss like it should have. That's the only time I did the item dupe, and I only gave us the number of items it was supposed to give us. Uh, yeah, I do. Was- I will soft cheat. Quote unquote soft cheat. By uh, looking at the map, because <laughs> the game world is expansive, Dude, and we've, yeah, the game we've, world is expansive. We've barely covered a lot of it, but also it's very with it being randomly generated, and with how sailing and all of this works, finding what we need can sometimes be unfeasible for the sake of a show. And I this is, as much as we are playing through the game, it is also a show. We have things we're supposed to be doing. Uh, as much as I would have loved seeing a Baba Yaga in this game, that is a different mythology. So, I, I'm glad it's not the Baba Yaga. That is, that is Slavic as opposed to Nordic. Similar, Close, not quite the same. Well, you wouldn't have, wouldn't have a Rus without a little bit of Viking. But that's neither here nor there. Next time, we'll uh, we'll get closer to actually being able to fuck up that fucking queen. Um, bitch. We need to get everybody feather capes. Uh, we need to upgrade my shit so I can keep damaging that fucker. And, um, I don't know, you guys need to upgrade your shit to a degree as well. Yeah, I need to upgrade my armor so I can take more, uh, damage. Um, I... What I'm thinking is, you should probably tank the lady, and I'll just 
stay on Abe and make sure he can keep DPS up. Yeah. Uh, and we need we need to make a whole bunch of those uh, torches to spam everywhere. Yeah. So can see what I I did but... see I did see that uh, using the, a demolisher subtype. I can't. I don't know if there's a, a bigger demolisher that we can make. But the the stag breaker, the the big two handed hammer. I did see that that helped with crowd control of the small bugs, and it may be worthwhile to build that. I um, I, I might need to actually. Now, God damn it. I, I might need to make a different weapon than the Mist Sword, because the Mist Sword's damage, well, ha a very little of it, she's immune to. She's immune to spirit damage, um, and neutral to just about everything else. Mm -hmm. um, Including emotion. No, she's immune I, to emotional damage. Emotion. But yeah, no, we'll, um, we'll get our stuff upgraded, and we're gonna... No time at all. And who knows? Stay tuned. This time next Stay week, tuned. we might have a technical difficulty screen. Yep. Yep. And on top of that, we might be doing a spooky game uh, stream uh, next week because of spooky time. Yeah. Uh, I believe I believe we're going to try to do Lethal Company on Halloween. I might I might do a stream of some hollow of some spooky dooky thing myself over the weekend solo. Uh, I was something of a spooky guy myself. Anyway, but yeah, so stay tuned. Um, but thank you for joining us tonight. It has been a blast. It has been a very confusing, fun blast, but a blast. So, yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Solo Right and Not Mother. Uh, hopefully we'll see you guys again next week. See you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Bat channel. <laughs> oh, Adam West. <laughs>